must wait a moment. Look how much we just demolished him, bro. That's the power of landslide. Holy shiznit. What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you my landslide or my ram slide, my rampage landslide build for the druid in Diablo 4. We are chilling in world tier 4, and uh, we're getting ready to do the Pharaoh's Dungeon map so that way you guys can get a really good look at the build itself i really wish there was a world boss here on the map which would be a lot better showcase but uh we're in here we're going to get this affix and show you guys how it works but let's break down everything that you need for the build and how it works and plays and then we'll get into the live example so uh ram slide or rampage slide is all about when we rampage and travel we're going to automatically cast the landslide this is a 100 percent crit build Okay, we are going to be stacking up Terra emotes with Landslide, and we're going to be using Landslide to kill stuff and Trample to freely cast uh, Landslide, which is going to be really, really strong. You're going to see a crap ton of crits. Now, let's get into the build and just everything that you absolutely need for it. So when it comes to your stats here and your skills, you're going to be doing Storm Strike. Storm Strike is going to give us the opportunity to stun and immobilize people and then make them vulnerable. We need crowd control effects in this build for it to be really strong. Then we're going to come down and we're going to take Heart of the Wild just only because we need to get to Wild Impulses. Three points in this so that way we get our core skills maxed at 15% increased damage, which is our Landslide. Then we're taking five points in Landslide into Enhanced into Primal Landslide. This is the key thing. When we stun or immobilize an enemy, we get a Terra emote. And then when a landslide goes off, it consumes a terror emote with a guaranteed crit strike, dealing 40% damage. Bosses always have a 10% chance to grant a terror emote. So that's why we want all stun and immobilized effects. Next, we have Earth and Bulwark, just for some added defense and fortify, which is really good. We're taking one point in Ancestral Fortitude for non-resistances by five, but then two in Vigilance for 10% more damage reduction when we pop this. Just to make us a little more tanky because we are going to be up close with Storm Strike. So we wanted to have a little bit of, of tankiness. Next, we're going to come down and do Nature's Reach. We're going to deal 9% increased damage to distant enemies. Double this bonus if they're stunned, slowed, immobilized, or knocked back. Three points in this because they're, they're going to always have that CC. And the distance, this is going to apply when we trample and, we, and then we get them out of our melee range or our close range. This is really going to be helpful. Next, we take Poison Creeper, which is one of the two most powerful skills that the Druid has, which makes this build absolutely slap. So we're going to pop Poison Creeper. We're going to have immobilize them by one more second. The poison damage is going to be great for our next passives, but this is our main thing that's going to immobilize enemies, which is also going to give us a crap ton of Terra emotes from the Primal Landslide. Next, we come down. We're going to take three points in each of these, which is going to be Crushing Earth. All of our skill damage that we're doing is from Earth, so we get increased damage against CC defect enemies. Critical Strikes, which is always going to be a critical strike, is going to fortify us. And then while fortified, for over 50%, we get 12% more increased damage with our Earth skills. Absolutely fantastic. This set is just insane. Then, of course, we're doing Neurotoxin. Poison enemies are slowed even more, which is great. And then they take 30% times more crit damage. They're always going to be crowd controlled, and we're always going to get the crit, so this is massive damage. Next is Trample. We have to have this for Ram Slide. So Trample is going to be our only mobility skill. Enhanced Trample for more damage, and then we're taking uh, Natural Trample for just some more Fortify, so we can be a little bit more tanky. Then we're going to come down. We're going to look at these passives first. Okay, we're going to be doing Defiance because of the abilities I'm going to show you on our gear. It makes Landslide and uh, it makes Trample a um, nature skill uh, because when we're trampling, we're going to trigger Landslide and it's going to be our nature skill actually doing the damage with Trample. So we got bonus damage here against Elites. Nature Magic, we max this so that way we can heal ourselves. Natural Disaster to make uh, Earth skills deal increased damage against Vulnerable. And then our Storm skills deal 12% increased damage against enemies that are CC'd. The Storm skill stuff isn't the biggest thing. It's the damage with our Earth skills. And then we have Resonance, which makes Nature Magic deal 6% increased damage. But then triple it if we hit with Storm Strike, then cast to Earth. Or we cast to Earth and then hit with Storm Strike. 
it's always going to be the first way around. So we're going to be doing Storm Strike, and then it triples it. So we're going to have 18% increased damage with Landslide. Absolutely powerful. Insane. Now, the second biggest skill in this build, which is just amazing, is Petrify. Petrify is our ultimate. Enemies encased are all in stone, and they, they're stunned for four seconds. So we have Poison Creeper to immobilize. Petrify to stun. Both of those give us a, a bunch of Terra emotes, which is just insane. And then when they're stunned, we deal 25% increased critical strike damage against enemies affected by this. Then bosses... It's 50%. Then we have uh, Petrify's duration increased by one. And then killing an enemy grants us spirit back so we could spam more landslides even after trampling. So this is huge. Then down to our key passive, we're going to be doing uh, Earth and Might. Okay? So Earth and Might is going to be damaging with Earth skills. Give us a chance to regen all our spirits so we could cast more landslides. Cause our attacks to be guaranteed critical strikes. And then we hit for five seconds, which is just even better. Even if we don't have Terra Motes, this helps us automatically deal crits all the time. Like almost every attack should be a crit. So that is the build, guys. We're going to go in. I'm going to show you my gear real quick at the end. But uh, you know what? We can go over it now. I'll show you my gear pieces and what you guys need for the build. And then tell you how to do it. And we'll get into the live showcase. So you're going to need... This ability, when you fortify, our skills gain two ranks. All of our damages are skills. Uh, basic skills, this one's optional. You can put whatever you like, but I like this one so we get more damage at close range because basic skills of Storm Strike are going to make us a little tankier, so 20% more flat damage reduction. Uh, then we're going to have uh, Casting a Storm skill grants our Earth skills 39% more crit damage. So when we hit with Storm Strike, then we Landslide, or then we Rampage, they get 40% more crit damage. The casting our earth skill and then give us in, giving us crit chance on storm skills doesn't matter. We don't care about that. We just like the top part. Earth and bulwark is increased by six seconds, making it 15 seconds, and then giving us even more barrier as we continue to kill people, which makes this even more tankier. Then we have damage from earth skills slow. This is important for all our CC effects. Then we have trample now summon six landslides of pillars during its duration. That deal 152% normal damage. Trample now becomes a nature magic and an earth skill. So if you guys remember down here in this little setup here, now Trample benefits from all of these nodes as well, which is just amazing. Now we have Landslide. This is the second part that's just really, really cool. Landslide's earth pillars strike an additional time and deal 17% bonus damage per hit. Now, when you rack up your Terra emotes, this is going to consume. This is going to consume more Terra emotes, but we don't care. We're going to rack these things up so fast. We're going to be just critting absolutely everything. Next, we have Earth Skills deal 30 times more crit damage to crowd controlled enemies. Everybody's going to be crowd controlled. So now we have an even bigger multiplier on crit damage, which is always going to happen. Then we have Distant Enemies. This one's a flex. I'm still working with this one, but you want it for the second part. So let me explain. Distant Enemies have an 8% chance to become stunned for two seconds when they hit you. That's great. But more importantly, we like the second part because it ends with a period. You deal 20 times increased damage to stunned enemies. And what do we do, guys? We stun absolutely everybody. Everyone gets stunned. So these are the gear pieces absolutely baller now into our sphere boons these ones you can kind of tamper with or just play with but uh for the first one in deer i like awareness gives us a little bit more tankiness um you could do uh the adv advantageous beast to reduce crowd controlling effects if you want but i just like the flat damage reduction against bosses uh iron feather for more or excuse me not iron feather excuse me avian wrath 30 times more crit strike damage uh, and then in Wolf, we're taking Energize. Dealing damage has a chance to restore spirit. And then we're doing two boons inside of Snake, which is going to be uh, Overpower on our next Earth skill. And then we're going to have Calm Before the Storm. This is going to allow us to recharge and get Petrify back even faster. So that's what I like. Now, if you do want to do something a little different, you could maybe take the one power out of here and put it into, like, this one. Calamity would actually be really good to extend the duration of petrify if you really wanted to but we're going to be killing things so fast it's going to be fine i like the overpower 
but you could definitely do Calamity. Just insta crits. Just critted for 112. Now, you are going to have to manually cast sometimes, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm not ready oh, yeah. Yet. Immobilized. And he's dead. Nice. Ancestral Helm. Try to rack up. There we go. Let's see if we can do it in here. I'm not ready yet. You see, it just absolutely hit twice. You can see all those crits for 120 apiece. I love it. Oh, this should be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I must wait a moment. Gotta come down here and grab this thing. Is, is that Butcher? It is! Oh, yeah, dude. We're about to solo the Butcher. Let's go. Soloing the Butcher. Ow. I must wait a moment. Look how much we just demolished him, bro. That's the power of Landslide. Holy shiznit. When I trampled, his life just got depleted. All right. So, guys, for the bosses and world bosses, I know I only have 14 racked up, but I did just fight the butcher. The butcher. So, when you're coming up to a boss or a world boss, you want to rack these up as much as possible. So that way we can, when we do Rampage, we get to trigger all these permanent critical hits. Because the bosses cannot be CC'd, so keep that in mind. Even though we have really good single target damage, you won't be able to CC the boss. So let's see what we can do here. I'm not ready yet. Look at his life just deplete! Oh! <laughs> I'm going to add a few more, but man, it's the build is really, really, really easy to play. You just storm strike. You pop these two on, on uh, groups, and then, you know, you got Earth and Bulwark and Fortify from Trample to keep you alive. Trample only when there's a large mob or a boss. Otherwise, you can just manually cast Landslide because in the smaller groups, it's going to hit them all with the double trigger. So it's just super, super strong. So uh, one last note here I want to make about the Spirit Boons is... You could always swap out Insidian Slam, which is better to come in and do Pack Leader. So on a crit strike uh, with Lucky Hit, you can reset Vines which or Poison Creeper would just be better. So definitely, definitely do that. I definitely overlooked this. So uh, yeah, that's what I would do. And if you don't like the Regen Spirit, do Pack Leader into Calamity just for the duration of this. So it in increases the duration by another second, which would be really cool. But yeah, that's what I would do. That's the only changes I would make, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below what do you guys think about Ram Slide in Diablo 4 for the Druid. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.